hi there hope you're doing good so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use find view by ID method in, in the view object to get reference to the UI component specified in the layout XML so you remember the layout XML in which we added a button we have a text view here and we have an ID for the text view now if I want to reference this text view in my activity class and I want to display the text whatever the text view has if I want to display what whatever text is there if I want to do that I'll have to use the find view by ID method let me show you how you do it so let me comment out the toast which we created in the last lecture and this is the code which you can use now if you see we are using the find view by ID method of the view object. Okay, so view is a parameter in this method, and we are using that object um, to get the reference to the hello ID. Okay, hello ID was the ID which we declared here, and the way we get that ID is using R dot ID. Now R is the is the class we talked about a while back so hope you are familiar with that also now and then we cast the value which we get to text view so we get hello text and then I have added a log basically to check the value of this text now there are a lot of methods available in both the view object as well as in the text view object currently we are using get text method to display the text uh, Android documentation provides a list of methods I'll mention that in the link as a link so let's check what happens when I click on the button like our assumption is that it should display this log message with the text okay so I have the emulator Nexus 6 API and uh, let's use that to okay so the emulator is up and the app launches now I'm going to click on this button click me and I see there is some problem okay let's see what's the issue okay let me do this so if you see the uh, the exception okay so there is some problem with the get text method that we are seeing here it's saying that it's a null object basically so the log logs help you to view the you know to view the problems the errors and this is the way you debug the problem so if, if you're trying at your end I would like you to spend a minute and see if you can fix this uh, meanwhile I'll pause the video for a for a minute or two okay okay so looks like the problem is that I have used this view method to get this I'm sorry the view object to get this method but since we are in an activity this method is available by default so we don't need to use the view object to get this method okay that's one thing and second thing is it's a it's always a good practice to check for you know null pointer exceptions so I've added a if statement here so unless this is true that it's not equal to null it won't go in so we'll probably not see the error message okay so let's run this app again and see if this fixes the problem so don't worry if you see any errors or problems it's, it's a it's actually a good way to learn um, learn about the fundamentals okay so let's click this and if you see the message gets displayed let's check the value hello id and it's hello android so this is the way you reference elements in your activity or in your java class and uh, i hope this gives you a basic idea about um, find view by id method and in the next video we'll uh, try to expand on this knowledge so until next time, see you, bye.